Welcome to an overview of the Classroom 2.0 Live webinar series. Each week, Classroom 2.0 Live broadcasts an hour-long session to enable educators to discover new ways to incorporate technology into the teaching and learning process and to engage their students. Each session is recorded and archived. Our show hosts are Peggy George, Lori Moffitt, and Tammy Moore, who facilitate the weekly sessions. Let's take a look at some of the features of the Blackboard Collaborate platform that are used in the show. A more detailed view is also available in the FAQs link at the top of the web page. The link to join the session is found on our show homepage. You can use the tiny URL or the full link. Clicking the link will launch the session in Blackboard Collaborate. You'll want to allow a few minutes for first-time configuration of the Blackboard Collaborate launcher. There's also an app available for download if you wish to participate on your iOS or Android mobile device. When you log in, be sure to enter your name and not the name of the session that you're attending. Once the session opens, you'll see the whiteboard screen and a number of movable and resizable panes. Here the various screen panels are highlighted in red. Feel free to move these around the screen and resize to suit your own needs. One suggestion is to undock the chat window and enlarge it in another area on the screen because there's usually quite a bit of input from the participants, often at a very quick pace. You'll want to be sure that your audio is configured properly and you can do that by clicking the red starburst to go through the audio setup wizard found in the audio video pane at the top of the screen. Also notice the CC next to the audio setup. We offer closed captioning for all our shows if you'd like to make use of that feature. The text will open in a separate window which you can move and resize to suit your needs. The participant pane will list all attendees and moderators. You have the option of filling out a personal profile to the right of your participant name if you'd like to share any details about yourself or your contact information. The chat pane is where you can type comments or questions. Questions that are posted into the chat but not addressed by the presenter during the course of the broadcast will be posed to the presenter during Q&A at the end of the session. Be aware that moderators can view all chat, including private messages. Remember, you'll want to make that chat pane much larger. In the participant panel, there are also several other tools to use. The first tool is emoticons, which can be used to give feedback during the course of the show. The second is the away tool, if you plan to step away from your computer for a time during the session. The third is the raise hand tool. Sometimes during the Q&A at the end of the show, participants have an opportunity to speak their questions instead of type them. This tool allows you to be recognized by the moderator. The last tool in this pane is used to respond to questions. At the beginning of the show, there are often several polling questions, and the presenter may also ask for some responses during the show that require a red X for no or a green check for yes. The moderator can also switch the responses from yes and no to multiple choice, depending on the question. At the beginning of the show, we survey participants to view their locations on the map. Clicking the starburst, then clicking on your location on the map, will give everyone an idea where you're tuning in from. Classroom 2.0 Live often has international participation. Although participants can chat and ask questions throughout the show, there is a designated Q&A time at the end. Our moderator collects questions that have been asked during the course of the presentation, and others can be added at that time. You can also raise your hand to speak by using the button on the toolbar. Remember to configure your mic in the audio setup prior to that. Once you're recognized and the moderator enables your mic privileges, press the talk button to speak and press it again to turn it off when you're finished. When you close out of the session, a survey will pop up asking for your feedback on the show. 
You may also, as part of the survey, request a personalized professional development certificate as a record of participation by entering your name and email address at the bottom of the survey. How cool is that? We welcome your feedback in the survey as it helps planning for future shows. The presenter, as well as participants in the chat, share so many wonderful links during the course of the show. These links are compiled into a live binder by month. For example, in May of 2014, the guests were Vicki Davis, Aaron Maurer, Donna Hatcher, and Tina Schneider, and the team from Educanon. Clicking each of the show titles will give you a link to all resources shared during the course of the session. If you miss a show and go back to view the recording, you can still request a professional development certificate right here in the live binder. Isn't that great? You can access all the live binders from previous shows by going to the archives and resources page on the site, click on the binders to access a wealth of resources from past shows. In addition to all that, the show recordings are also available via iTunes U. Search for Classroom 2.0 Live in the iTunes U search bar and you'll have full access to anything you may have missed. Recordings, chat sessions, audio, everything. Subscribing to the channel is the best way to be sure you never miss a show recording. We hope you'll make Classroom 2.0 Live a regular stop each week on your professional learning journey. See you at the next show.